Big Trouble in Little China stars Kurt Russell as all-American trucker Jack Burton. And the plot of Big Trouble in Little China is Jack Burton is caught in between this series of mystic old battles in the middle of Chinatown after he and his friend come across these gang members at an airport that steals the Asian, his Asian friend's girlfriend. So they go after her to try and save her and they get caught up in all this crap. And also Jack Burton also wants to find his long lost semi truck. That's basically it. This movie is over the top as hell. This movie is fucking ridiculously crazy. Lots of shit happens in this movie. The, the, the title itself is not misleading. They in big trouble all the time. It is fucking silly. It is bootleg. It is fucking awesome. <laughs> It is a little slow in the beginning, but when the comedy kicks in, the comedy fucking kicks in. Kurt Russell's awesome as Jack Burton, another crazy character created by John Carpenter. Just two years off escaping New York. Wow, they, they must have loved to work, work together, so it kind of shows at this point. Three collapse with John Carpenter over the years. Why the fuck not? Ten years later, he will have Escape from L.A. by him. So, yeah. Which I also reviewed both of those movies, if you're wondering. Um, action in this movie is fucking awesome. I love the action. The action is very choreographed. Very nicely done. Special effects are, the, are 80s special effects, so they don't look too good. But they look good enough to pass for the movie, for the movie's time. Which I do agree, this movie is way ahead of its time. Way ahead of its time. So, when I heard they were remaking it with Dwayne Johnson, I wasn't too mad about it after watching this movie now. Because it's it's time. It, it, it deserves to have a modern day touch to it. To see how well it can be done today. Probably not as good as John Carpenter did it. But at least it'll probably... It will have a, a nice touch of paint to it, just as long as you get the right writer to put that much-needed Mustang engine in that bitch. Hell yeah. And we have ourselves a good remake. Now, this is also the movie that sent John Carpenter into this weird delusional thing where he said, fuck you, Hollywood, and actually went back to making independent movies because this movie flopped bad. I mean, the movie only cost 20-something million dollars, and it only made 11 million worldwide. Damn. I don't know if because of how over the top it is, or because people didn't, people listened to the film critics back in the day. I don't know. I, I, I want to see what Cisco and Ebert actually gave this movie. I'm going to look up that review after this movie. I mean, after my video. See what they thought about it. Cause I'm pretty sure they talked about it. They talked about every movie that came out. Why would they not talk about Big Trouble in Little China? And it's also often funny that I always thought the 2001, 2002 Big Trouble. I always thought that was a remake of Big Trouble in Little China, but apparently it's not. So when I eventually get to that stupid ass movie, because that movie's fucking stupid, I will do a little bit of research on that movie and then let you know when I review that movie. But all in all, though, Big Trouble in Little China is fucking awesome. And Kim Cattrall, a very young Kim C Cattrall. Oh, yeah. All the right moves, baby. All the right moves. I will give Big Trouble in Little China a B plus. Let me know what you guys think about Big Trouble in Little China down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What movie from the 80s or 70s that you like, that you think was ahead of its time, and also thinks deserves a newer remake, if it already hadn't gotten one. Let me know down below, 